We're gonna grab a bite to eat, and then we're gonna fly over to Amboy, California, this ghost town on Route 66. Here it looks like we have a slight tailwind, so right. whatever. Traffic, Scott, 1456, Foxtrot is departing to the south. We are currently at 6,000 feet and we'll climb out to the south. We got airspeed 55 knots. Traffic, oh, 10 windy. same altitude, Anyways, zero I'll miles. where the wind's from. There's 70, we'll go to 75 and rotate. That right there, slight right crosswind. Plenty of speed. Get the gear up. And we can get a nice little downdraft here. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 76 Lima, turn left base for runway 03, Sedona. Sedona traffic, 0220 Victor, we are holding short runway 21, uh, looking for traffic running, landing runway 3, we'll depart once you're clear of the runway. Caution. Terrain. Roger. Caution. Uh, we'll depart it. Terrain. Down. Terrain. Victor. Okay. So we just took off from Sedona, had an amazing time there, had a great stay at the Cozy Cactus. They put us up for a couple days. It was absolutely sunny. Like the people were fantastic. It was so awesome just having breakfast with other guests. It was super interesting. Perfect spot for hiking. It's just like right on the edge of the National Forest. If you're ever going to Sedona, I would you should go to Sedona because Look at it, it's amazing. Go to Sedona, stay at the Cozy Cactus. Like Seth Tower, Bonanza, 7 Hotel Pop, so midfield left downwind, runway 21. 10 7 Hotel Pop, I continue uh, left downwind, I'll call your base. 7 Hotel Pop, you'll call your base. 10 7 Hotel Pop, uh, runway 21, cleared to land, the air jet will be clearing at Alpha 2. 21, clear to land, Bonanza, 7 Hotel Pop. Okay, got the gear, 3 green, first notch of flaps. When noise canceling, just die and change those batteries. <laughs> Shuttle 757, when you see there, it has to turn into the run up pad, then you can turn left, proceed on Alpha to the terminal. Okay, yep, we'll do that. Okay, we'll three we'll continue down, give way to him. We'll make sure he's good. We're on the full step. Traffic, 12 o'clock, same out. Less than one mile. Go just a little bit further. I don't want to get his jet blast there yeah, right in the landing. Smart. Okay, so now that we've got a fourth person, this is Colt. Hi. Uh, we're a little weight critical, so we kind of took everything out to reorganize it, figure out how to squeeze everything in, and also make it work with weight and balance. Fortunately, Colt has a degree in, in mechanical engineering from MIT, so he's... I can at least this, count to five. He's solving this puzzle for us. All right, now we need... What are you going to do with that seat? That seat's going to come right back. Okay, that's going to go in the back. Now we're going to go check out Lake Havasu, probably grab a bite to eat, offload all of this stuff there so that uh, we can go into some fun dirt strips without being real heavy. Okay, so we just got some fuel. Now we're gonna head off to Lake Havasu into some fun dirt strips, then go check out at least one of those, come back, grab our stuff, and somehow make it to uh, San Jose by tonight. Is that where we ended up, San Jose? Yeah, because he's got to go back to school. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Colt, good friend of mine, went to MIT, flies some fun shit up in Alaska. What are you doing now, the Dash 8? Yeah, I fly the Dash 8 for Raven. Uh, I fly the Turbo Beaver in the summertime, and I actually got a new part-time gig flying floats with the beaver in the 206.
at least part time. Badass. It's gonna be a fun summer. Yeah. You should come up visit. Bring I, the Bonanza. I will. Bonanza 367 Hotel, Pop the Flagstaff Tower. Right turn on course, approved your discretion. Runway 21 cleared for takeoff. Winds 210 at 17, gust 25. 21 cleared for takeoff, right turn. Bonanza 367 Hotel, Pop up. Airspeed's alive, everything's in the green. There's 70 knots. Hold the nose off just a little bit for those bumps. And we'll just glide right on off. Maybe. There we go. We're off. Well, I'm at 2,000 feet. It's pretty good for a like seven or eight thousand foot density altitude and this weight 25 knot wind helps that is that that's true I can get the gear up I guess I could go ahead and activate our flight plan you can just activate on floor flight that's cool yeah so you just go activate yes it'll activate it and then it'll remind you when you land uh, if you don't close it and then you just have another button to close so it's like, at this point, there's no reason not to file, because yeah. it's just so easy. Can we uh, start in-flight services now? Yeah, go for it. My drinks. Uh, yeah, you ever heard of uh, Hangar 24? Yeah, that's that's there. there. Okay. No, I haven't heard of it, but... This is going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. Good. I don't know if they have a service called Colt International. I don't know what hey. it is, but I like it. Yeah. So one nice thing, exploring all of this, you know, just incredible part of this country that's so uh, remote, and you know, this is this is really the only way to get to see it like this. We can just fly around all day long without talking to anybody if we want to, but we can also talk to somebody and you know, have them know exactly where we are all the time. Uh, let them, you know, have them let us know where traffic is, stuff like that. So we just got so many options. Phoenix approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa VFR. Oh. Sh it's dim. It's okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Are you getting hot or cold? Hot. That's what I like about these clothes is like, it was a little chilly in uh, Sedona this morning. It's supposed to be a little chilly in San Jose tonight, but with this, it's perfect for that. Long sleeves, long pants, and then uh, you get up here where it's nice and hot, and it's still perfectly comfortable. From Ministry of Supply, momentum chinos and the, like, the arrow button down. You should check them out. I, I, they're like the most comfortable clothes you can possibly get for flying, I think. I have their, some of their dress clothes and dress shirts, and I love them. Yeah. I haven't gotten into the casual wear yet. They're an MIT startup. A couple of the co-founders are pilots. It's pretty cool. I think this is a, a luxury this sedan. Is, this, yeah, this is like a, well, no, a luxury small SUV. Yeah, that's fair. But like and, a Mercedes and, SUV. And a, a, two, a 210 is more like a van. Uh, Bob, um, I'd say a 210 is more like um, a high-end Chevy or Ford SUV rather than like a Buick rather than necessarily a BMW, an Audi, a Mercedes. Okay, that's fair. I mean, the other thing about the Bonanza is not only is it more comfortable and more capable, but it's also just built like a paint. Maneuvering speed in this is, I think, 10 knots faster than the 210. Uh, the landing gear just have a reputation for being built incredibly strong. Bonanza's a good design. It's been around for decades. I mean, yeah, the first flight of the Bonanza was in 47, and the design hasn't changed much since then. It's the longest continuously produced GA airplane. Yeah, longest continuously produced airport air airplane in history. Lake Havasu traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa 15 of the Houston we enter, or uh, gonna be straight in for 1-4. One four. One four. Oh yeah, so that's Needles there, right? Yeah. Remember that shit hole in place? Oh yeah. Tumbleweed blown across the runway. We got that in the Grand Canyon too, we were rolling out on landing. And yeah. Is there a little tumbleweed. armadillo or something running across? Yeah, probably. I got him. And right right below the big white square. Six is on the downwind okay. runway 1-4. I have two seven nine five. Have the uh, traffic on down. We'll just come in behind you. Oh, it's hot. It is. I'm nice and comfortable though. Caution. Wire. 
Wire. Caution. Warning. Caution. Wire. Wire. Caution. Wire. Wire. Have the traffic 52 hotel mic turn right base 14. Have the traffic 41306 down and clear of all runways. Professionally firm? Yeah. Nice. Keeping it nice and short, you know. Actually, that's because we missed the taxi. <laughs> I, th I think that's the. Uh, Yeah, so I'm, just, I'm just excited. I didn't even realize there was a restaurant right here. Really? But airport restaurants are like my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh yeah. So we just landed here in Lake Havasu. We're gonna grab a bite to eat, offload a bunch of our stuff, and then head to Amboy, California. There's this little strip uh, at this ghost town on Route 66. Got some fantastic views of the ramp over there. So we're going to this little strip in the middle of the desert at Amboy, California. Amboy, right there. It's right on the uh, historic Route 66. It's not on the chart or anything, so we just got the coordinates there. We're coming from uh, Lake Havasu. We'll just go ahead Send this to the panel so we know where we're going. And boom. Lake Havasu Chaston and the Seven Hotel Pampas departing runway 14, Lake Havasu. You guys ready? Yep. Let's do it. Go to Amboy. Look at all that manifold pressure. Oh, yeah. 28 inches. There's 60 knots, in the green, 70. Traffic, two o'clock, same altitude, zero miles. I will just keep it nice and low this time. Build some mirror speed, bring the gear up. And now I can start to climb on out. Okay, so uh, what a 22.9 is in a comet, airports that don't have a uh, frequency. Okay, so, you know, landing at a place like this is a little different than landing at kind of a real airport. So we're gonna go down, take a nice look at it, uh, do a low pass, see what this looks like. Maybe even do one more low pass, touch down, just get a feel for it. each direction. Yeah. Really just take a good look, and if we like it, we'll land. If we don't, we'll go back and go to San Jose. So I think it must be just past that second little mountain thing there. Yep. I bet it's where the train track has 366 meet. Probably, pretty close. Yeah, so this is Route 66 right down here. And the wind's out of the south. I'll put the gear down. Slow up here. This actually looks pretty nice. Okay, so we'll do a low approach and take a look at it. Let's do it and this way, we'll do a teardrop do it the other way and see it from both directions so you get the lighting change. So I'm gonna put it just off my left here for a second. Let me take a good look. You got that ridge there. Yeah, this thing. A little depression there, a little depression right here, but not too bad. Gonna come and around and go the other way too? Yeah, then we got power lines and buildings just off the end here. Yeah, we got that tower right there. That is pretty cool though. Oh man, yeah, I was like, gear down, flaps coming down. Are you landing or doing a low approach? Low approach. This is downwind. But okay. here, now it's saying the wind is 2005, so it's just a slight quartering tailwind. that little 
little depression there. I don't think that's going to be a big factor. Oh. Pretty much if we just stay down the center line, yep, we'll be good. Amboy traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pump. It's going to be uh, straight into the south for Amboy. You locked in? Locked in, baby. Let's do it. Locked and loaded. This is also just like a pretty epic view with mountains here and everything. Okay, gears three green. Flaps are full. Just a little hot on the speed. Got drop ten knots. Yeah. Oh. This is Amboy, California. A little town on Route 66. Now there's nothing here except a little gas station where you can get some Gatorade and some water and some old style glass bottle pop, soda, Coke, depending on where you're from. Um, it's pretty cool though. Little gravel strip, nice little pee hanger in case you need to get out of the weather. Uh, it might rain a little bit though. that pulls up. So that's pretty cool. This is awesome. We're making such a scene. I love it. <laughs> that's a pretty unique sight. You don't see this every day. This was a uh, super fun little stop here in Amboy. An awesome little town on Route 66, got some pictures. Also, just to be clear, like this was a lot of coordination with like four people to get all these shots. So, you know, it's not like we were just holding up traffic or, you know, taxiing through right. people or something like that. Yeah, we all had handhelds, talking to each other, making it happen. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready? Morning, terrain. That was a good stop. That was, that was, that was amazing. I think that was my favorite this whole trip. I love flying out here, it's so cool. There's so much variety of terrain, things to see. Right. Yeah, if you have big tires here, you can just about land anywhere. If you have a Bonanza here, you can land just about anywhere. Yeah, that's cool. Don't even try. 
Yeah, it was pretty crazy though to be at this little little airport at this like basically ghost town. It is a ghost town. There's a gas station now. One gas station. Nothing else. The hotel is gone. Everything else. I think they still have a post office. It looked like they had a post office. Maybe it's just preserved. There's the street, but I don't know yeah, if it's still operational. I don't know. But like just to land there was awesome. But then to be there taking photos and this V-tail pulls up was pretty much the highlight. Like that was it's just awesome. so cool that just somebody else timing. is coming out here doing this too. Well, that's encouraging that other people are out flying and taking advantage of these little airports. And right. You just fly into these awesome places. There's so many incredible places to go here in the United States. We've got over half of the world airports, and uh, most of those you can only get to in your own plane. Is this a twist off? It's not a twist off. Thank you. Lake Havasu traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pompas 8, the uh, southwest is going to be ending our right downwind for only 1 4 of Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pompas is uh, based to final 1 4 Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pompas is based to final 1 4 Lake Havasu. Caution, terrain, caution, warning, 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 caution. a little better than the first one. Yeah. Making steps in the right direction. Lake Havasu traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pompas departing runway 14, Lake Havasu. Okay, I don't see anybody that way. I don't see anybody that way. Clear right. Yeah, flying through this airspace kind of brings back a lot of pretty crazy memories, getting ready to go fly around the world, getting checked out in this plane, SoCal, flying over here, putting in needles one time to go flying with him <laughs> in the middle of nowhere in the what dark a horrible place. Night. It was a pretty cool place to get work done. Sorry, what was that? It's a good office. Yeah. I guess the one fun fact I forgot to mention is that according to JP, it used to be one of Harrison Ford's like favorite stops or something. So much history out here. Like everything from Area 51 over by Vegas. So you got the U-2, SR-71, F-117. You got Edwards over here. Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier. All kinds of stuff. Big Shield Approach, good evening, number 367 Hotel Papa, checking in 8,500. And the profile is on the 28. Just seven mile Okay, yeah, we're a little above the glide path, but we'll just keep the speed up and then come down a little steeper. We got three green. First snatch of flaps. Don't get up, man, my parents are watching. Welcome to San Jose. prepare the cab for arrival cross train.